This morning we're in a very special place. The thing about the gladiator vegetarian diet, you may think maybe, you know what, Roman times the meat was expensive, they were just slaves. It's really, really impressive, unexpected. It's obviously we couldn't miss the toilet. So in a few words, gladiators at the beer belly. We are Aldo, Vera and Toto. For over five years, we have been driving around the world with our self-converted tiny home on wheels. And we visited more than 50 countries on five continents. Next destination, Africa. Through our videos, we show how beautiful, but at the same time, how fragile our planet is. Hoping to raise awareness about environmental concerns and inspire people to take action. Subscribe to our channel. Enjoy our adventure. This morning we are in a very special place. This is the Basilica of St. John the Apostle. Together with Virgin Mary, they escaped in here where St. John built a house where they live for the rest of their life. I just read something very interesting and I wanted to share with you. This church was constructed in form of a cross, and I found out that uh, St. John of Apostles was the last one to die from the Apostles, and actually the only one that uh, died from his natural death. All the others were persecuted. We are in Ephesus, one of the largest and best preserved Greek-Roman archaeological sites in the world. And today we will debunk a myth. The gladiators were fat. I've been lucky enough to be born in Naples, and that is very close to Pompeii, Pesto, Mercolano, and just a couple of hours away from Rome. So I had more or less a rough idea of how a site like this looked like. But honestly, from up here, the theater, the views are really outstanding. You can see all the road there with the columns all over the valley, the mountains on your left. It's really, really impressive, unexpected. This 
This is the Arcadia, which was once the main connection between the theater and the harbor. It's long uh, 500 meters and wide 11 meters. Just seven kilometers from here, there is a Mediterranean Sea. And as you can imagine, Ephesus was a very important commercial trading point. And during the centuries was ruled by Greeks, uh, Persians, uh, Roman Empire, Byzantine, and even Ottoman Empire. Not very far from here, behind a hill that we can see in the distance, there is the biggest gladiator's graveyard in the world. It's now closed because of some excavation works, however, they have made an interesting discovery there. They found out, by analyzing the bones of the gladiators, that their diet was mainly vegetarian, with very little meat and full of carbohydrates and calcium. So, what we see in the movies, like Spartacus the Gladiators, with these uh, ripped men, uh, muscular bodies, and eating meat on this big Roman feast, is not really true. Actually, they also found out that gladiators had a layer of fat over the pectoral and the abdomen area. So, in a few words, gladiators had the beer belly. We are in the terrace houses section. To get here, you need to pay an additional 55 Turkish lira, or you can buy one of the combo tickets, which will allow you also an entrance to the museum. The entry price to the main site is 120 Turkish lira, which is a equivalent of about 12 euro. And we think it's a fair price for an archeological site big like this. Obviously, we couldn't miss the toilet. For some weird reason, a strange fetish, these Romans really like to shit together. So, the gladiators, the famous Spartacus, were eating lentil soup, uh, beans, uh, cereal, porridge, and every now and then a fig for a sweet relief. Hmm. The thing about the gladiator vegetarian diet, you may think maybe, you know, at Roman times the meat was expensive, they were just slaves. No, the thing was in fact wanted, they wanted it this way, because they knew that carbohydrates, vegetable proteins were giving the gladiators more strength to fight, and also the layers of fat, they could protect them in case of a wound to avoid hitting like vital organs. They were also cared by doctors, because the rich Romans that they owned these gladiators, they wanted to keep them to fight for more battles, it was like entertaining, so the thing uh, with the thumbs up and thumbs down was something that that was really for animals or for uh, the slaves, the, the low-level slaves. So, in conclusion, if someone should make a comment about my belly, I would say, I've got the gladiator physique. Basically, we stayed here all day, the security is telling us to leave, uh, but I just wanted to clarify something that we just discovered now. We made a mistake. That long road, the Arcadia, was in fact the road that was connecting the theater to the ancient, to the ancient harbor. Today, the sea is five to seven kilometers away, but back then, the water was right down to Ephesus, as you can see here. <laughs> We are outside the entrance of the house of the Holy Virgin Mary. It was here in Selchuk in Ephesus that Mary spent the last few years of her life. Together with uh, St. John, they came up on this mountain and built this house that now we're going to go visit.
which was installed an aftermarket turbo. So this is a 2016 mod. Oh, bro, that's the video. This is really something incredible, honestly. Now I see it. Now I know why this place is so famous. Thank you. 